होप यू आर ड्रिंकिंग योर डेली कप ऑफ चाय और डेली कप्स ऑफ चाय बिकॉज चाय इज लव माई फ्रेंड्स एंड चाय इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हे गाइज हर शेयर एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोलोब दिस इज माई रेडमी नोट टेन प्रो रनिंग ऑन मी यू वाई ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव येस फाइनली मी यू वाई ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव स्टेबल वर्जन इज रोलिंग आउट फॉर द रेडमी नोट टेन प्रो एंड टेन प्रो मैक्स यू विल गेट एन ओ टी ए अपडेट वेरी सोन But in case you don't, you can also manually install it by downloading the zip file. That's exactly what I did because I did not get the OTA update. Now, if you want to know how to install it manually, stick around till the end of this video, and I will tell you how to do it. But first up, let's go ahead and talk about MIUI 12.5 and the new features. Alright guys this is it this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro running on Mi UI 12.5 so first up let's go into the settings and let me show you that it is Mi UI 12.5 the exact number is 12.5.1.0 it's a stable version and let's go ahead and see what all is new so if you press what's new you can see that there are not a lot of things which are new first up there are some system optimizations which will make your system more fast so according to Xiaomi they've done a lot of work internally which is supposed to make a system more responsive and fast apart from that the notes app has a complete overhaul the notes is now more powerful and it can do a lot of things it can also create mind maps which is really good next up there are some improvement to Xiaomi cloud and the camera app as well now you might be wondering where is the main feature the main feature that Xiaomi talked about so much in their presentation so Xiaomi said that you can uninstall some system apps with Mi UI 12.5 and now that Mi UI 12.5 is here that feature is nowhere to be seen as of yet so if i try to go ahead and uninstall calculator over here if i go into app info there is no option of uninstalling the application same goes for other system apps which is like for example say the music application if i want to go over here app info i cannot uninstall the music application so xiaomi said that you can uninstall and hide some system applications but that option is not enabled as of yet in this version which is kind of a bummer honestly like xiaomi should have given that feature but anyway there are some changes with mi ui 12.5 and let's look at them now the first change is with the lock screen itself so this lock screen has this new clock widget which looks really cool according to me now let me go ahead and unlock the phone okay now once i unlock there's one new feature here when you open an application for example gallery and then come out of gallery the wallpaper kind of zooms in and zooms out so this is a new animation for the wallpaper which looks really cool next up there are some changes in the control center so once you go to the control center and swipe down the brightness slider does not go away it sticks around which is really helpful and handy apart from that if you want to go to the notifications from this control center you just need to swipe now and you will be into notifications so no more closing the control center and then going into notifications you can just swipe around and you know switch between the control center and the notifications panel this is a welcome upgrade now let's go ahead and look at the notes application because it got a very big overhaul so we'll go into notes and as you can see there are no notes here yet so i'll just create one and you hope we go title is test Now if I want to create a mind map I can just go over here and say if I say something like phone and next should be red next should be broad and so on and so forth so you can basically create complex mind maps using the notes application which is a very handy feature if you are a designer or product designer or whatever if you need mind maps you can just make them now one more feature that i like in notes over here is that say for example if you have a corresponding note inside this note itself for example test you can just take this note and drag it over here and create a folder so if you have you know a bunch of notes which are in the same category you can just you know create folders which is a good thing so as you saw notes app has a lot of features now i'm not going to go ahead over every feature because that would take a lot of time but the bottom line is that the notes app has a lot of new features next up there are some changes in the camera application so once you go to the camera application you can go to more and here when you go to the vlog mode there are some okay it's downloading something let me wait for that all right so the download is complete so once you go into vlog mode there are some new filters over here that you can use and there are some other filters as well in some other modes so basically new filters and nothing more in the camera application the camera application is still like last time itself like it's a pretty normal and basic mi ui camera application now does the system feel responsive 
I would say yes, it does feel responsive and a little faster as compared to the previous version. But I'm not going to say that it is a drastic difference. I just feel that it's a small difference as of now. I have just been using it for a couple of hours. So these are my initial impressions. Once I use it for a longer period of time, then I will be able to tell you if it is actually better or not. Now there are a couple of features which I forgot to mention. First up is the volume sliders. So the volume sliders are changed. They are now bigger. And once you press the three dots, they will fill up the entire screen and they are more bigger and functional. This is a welcome upgrade. Also, there are some new wallpapers which look really cool in my opinion. So overall, the main update with MIUI 12.5 as of now seems to be with the main system and its optimizations. The second major update which is supposed to clean up things and let you uninstall system apps is not come yet. It will come in the future. I'm pretty sure it will because Xiaomi said so. When would it come? That is still a question mark. I will make sure to ask Xiaomi about this. I will email them properly and let's see what they reply. I will post about it on Twitter. So make sure you're following me over there. Now, as I said in the start of the video, you will get an OTA update. But if you don't, you can also manually install it. For that, you will need to download the zip file. I will make sure to drop a link to the zip file in the description box below. Once you download the zip file, save it in your internal storage under a folder called as downloaded underscore ROM. Copy and paste this file inside that folder. After that, go to the updates page and press on the three dots which are present on the top right corner. After you do that, you will see an option as choose update package. Click on that and then go ahead and select the zip file that you just downloaded. After that, you're done. It will update your phone to the latest MIUI 12.5.1.0. Now, please make sure that you do it at your own risk. This is a big update and a lot of things can go wrong. Your data can be wiped out, your phone can be bricked and a lot of other things can go wrong as well. So please make sure that you know the risks and you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then just wait for the OTA update because that would be the perfect way to update your phone. But anyway, this was a very quick look at the MIUI 12.5 update. I will make sure to make a follow up video when you can uninstall the system apps as well, because that's the thing that we all are waiting for. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel because you don't want to miss that video. That's been it. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.